Hey, what's going on guys? I uh, hope you're doing good today. Um, I get uh, every now and then we'll post um, screenshots of a meal or a recipe and um, show a screenshot of the carb manager app that gives the macros and uh, shows the breakdown of the fat, protein, carbs, and all of that. And then I always seem to get a question, hey, what app are you using? Uh, so I use the carb manager app. There's a number of good apps out there. I chose Carb Manager because the free version is extremely comprehensive and does just about everything I needed to do. And uh, everything from just tracking your daily meals to tracking and charting weight to showing uh, your daily breakdown uh, in percentages. Uh, you can create your own recipes. You can scan in foods that aren't already in the database just using a barcode feature. Lots of really cool features. So I thought I'd do a really quick tutorial on the basics of Carb Manager for you guys. So we'll start right now with the uh, video number one, which is, hey, let's just log a couple meals and we'll go from there. So uh, download your Carb Manager if you haven't. Try, just try the free version until you've decided whether or not the uh, paid version would give you any more functionality that you'd actually use. And uh, it's especially helpful when you're just starting out just to kind of learn what foods have what in them as far as fat, protein, and carbohydrates. So here we go. So once you have the Carbon Manager app downloaded, you simply uh, go ahead and launch it, of course, and it will default to the current day, but you can see using the arrows at the top that you can scroll through previous days to see what you did, make changes, edits, things like that. So we'll go through and just do a quick basic breakfast. So you'll see the breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in the uh, meals listed towards the bottom. And in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a plus sign. You can either tap that and it will open up a menu into the uh, search database, or you can tap the three vertical lines to the right of breakfast and that'll also open up another menu. So you'll just wanna go ahead and add foods. It takes you to the search uh, database. So let's uh, sample, uh, this morning I had some eggs. So you just type in eggs, pick the appropriate egg for you. And then it takes you to that food and you can see using the wheel on the left, you can select the quantity. And then using the wheel here, you can select the size. And you'll notice that breakfast is highlighted in gray. If you were just logging a different meal, you just tap the appropriate meal. So we'll say three large eggs. I had that for breakfast. It takes you back to the search screen. And let's go with uh, some bacon, of course. So we just type bacon and it gives you multiple options. So you pick the most appropriate to what you had. I prefer smoked bacon. And then again, you can do it by the ounce, by the slice, etc. So let's just say I had three thick slices and add today. So very simple guys. So, and let's say I also had some sausage. So we'll do sausage. It comes up with a whole mess of sausages because uh, it could be Italian, it could be smoked, whatever. But you can scroll through and just find the most appropriate. Let's just select breakfast sausage here. And again, ounce, links, patties, whatever you need to do. And so you just add today. And once you're done adding for that meal, you can X out at the top and you can bring it back to your daily uh, recap. And you can see there, your uh, foods are listed under breakfast. And then your uh, macros are on the top right in the chart. And then the color-coded pie chart gives you a visual rep representation of those macros. Now let's say I remembered that instead of three slices of bacon, I actually had four. Now, instead of tapping the bar, uh, the, the vertical dots to the right of breakfast, I would just do the same thing for bacon. And I can just tap the edit feature here, change it to four slices, tap edit today, and you are now up to date. The other nice thing then is that I can go to the in-depth button at the top um, to the right of my day, and it will show you based on percentages how your macros are breaking down. And you can see that today we would be pretty well on, on our way. Let's just do one more just to uh, go through it real quick. We'll go to our, our lunch and let's say I had a uh, cheeseburger wrap. So we'll just type ground beef and it's predictive as you can see. So you don't necessarily have to type the whole thing. Uh, select the appropriate ground beef for you. I had 80% of course, and you can do it either by uh, the patty or the ounce. Usually when I make my patties, I do measure them. So let's just say I had a six ounce patty today and we go back to the uh, search engine. Um, we had it in a lettuce wrap, so we'll type lettuce. 
And again, you select the most appropriate to what you had that day. Um, for a lettuce wrap, I would often use leaf lettuce. And then again, you can select the quantity. Uh, two li large outer leaves sounds about right for a lettuce wrap. And so you add that. So as you can see, it's very uh, um, intuitive and self-explanatory in most cases, but sometimes just having a walkthrough helps. So you can see that now I've had my uh, le cheeseburger lettuce wrap and I have plenty of carbs for dinner available to me. Again, don't try to hit your carb macro, but just if you were gonna have uh, some veg that might be a little he carb heavier, you'd see you'd be well on your way. Check our in-depth in and you can see we're tra right on point as far as our macros are going. Um, we wanna keep that fat at around 70 to 75% and uh, especially starting out. So there's the basics and we'll do a couple more videos on some of the more advanced features like creating and building recipes and uh, some uh, additions to databases and even actually editing something that you might think is incorrect in the database. So that's it for now. Download it, get going on it. And uh, again, just for the beginning, it's very helpful just to kind of figure out what you're eating and, and how it's going to affect you for that day. So carry on, keto on, be strong. And let me know if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks guys.